Oh, hello. How are you? Welcome to my fourth vlog. So I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this is my fourth uh, video on the topic. Uh, I'm afraid it's probably not going to be my last, but in, in any case, uh, I'm kind of picking up from the last one here, uh, which I did in June of 2022. So um, basically, uh, in a quick nutshell, in 2022, I got diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's, got started on some chemotherapy, doing better. Uh, I was actually doing really good in August uh, until they repeated the PET scan and said that uh, uh, the lymphoma is no longer responding to the chemotherapy, so they stopped uh, treatment. And, um, and then we decided that the uh, next course of treatment was going to be something called CAR T cell therapy. Um, in between um, that time, uh, unfortunately, it did decline because I wasn't getting treated and so I ended up getting something, uh, some additional chemotherapy, what they call bridging therapy, to kind of tie me over until, until I could get the uh, CAR T cell. So um, the CAR T cell is basically uh, CAR T cell basically stands for um, CAR is a, a chimeric antigen receptor. T cell is uh, T cells are, are type of white blood cells found in your body uh, that help fight off infections. And so basically, what it is is harvesting your T cells and modifying them and then re-injecting them into your body to fight off the cancer. And uh, so this is uh, done in the hospital. Uh, so I was admitted to Northwestern in October and um, uh, was there for about 10 days and then, and then went home. So um, I was doing pretty good up until, um, well, I was doing pretty good. I came back to work and then, and then unfortunately in February started to not feel so well. And, um, uh, started having symptoms, had some pain in the leg, uh, as well as the typical fever, chills, night sweats, um, and uh, fatigue and weakness. And the uh, uh, repeat PET scan, unfortunately, showed that uh, the uh, cancer had come back. So um, it's what they call a non-durable response. Uh, in other words, the CAR T cell worked, but then it didn't work. So... Today is day zero of the uh, CAR T cell uh, therapy. I am going to be getting the uh, CAR T cell infusion in about two hours. Afterwards, they're going to be monitoring me. I'll be here for um, about 10 to 14 days, they estimate. Uh, most of it is just for observation, just to make sure that I don't have any uh, serious side effects from the uh, CAR T cell. Uh, the, the two biggest ones are uh, number one, cytokine release syndrome, which is uh, basically, your immune system will reacting, and, and that uh, presents as fevers, chills, headaches, fatigue, uh, achiness, um, maybe even confusion, low blood pressure. Uh, the problem with this is, is I'm already somewhat immunocompromised, and um, uh, that they'll have to make sure I don't have some sort of an infection going on. Uh, the other big uh, side effect that they're watching out for is uh, neurological side effects, and that includes uh, confusion and, worst case scenario, seizures. So hopefully nothing nothing uh, serious happens uh, during this uh, hospitalization. Hopefully this is just a nice, long, boring stay. The whole CAR T-cell process is actually a fairly simplistic process uh, uh, when you break it down. Um, back on uh, September 7th, uh, came down here, I got a uh, central line placed um, into my internal jugular uh, and then came back the following day on September 8th for the leukophoresis or the T-cell uh, collection, T-cell harvest, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that took uh, actually several hours, took most of the day, and um, but was, I would say, fairly uneventful. Nothing nothing interesting going on in, uh, in that sense. So. Afterwards, uh, you're waiting around for about four weeks. Um, I got word, 
unfortunately, I guess you could say that mm -hmm. uh, the uh, my, my T cells were uh, out of spec, so that meant uh, they were like factory rejects. I guess is another way to describe it. And um, while they're still usable, um, they're just not up to um, specification. And um, so that delayed everything by about two weeks since the uh, TESA harvest lost about 20 pounds. Having a lot of fevers, chills, night sweats, um, poor appetite, just really tired, weak, um, getting to the point of not being able to do a whole lot, just sitting around or, or laying around. I, so I came into uh, Northwestern on October 6th because I wasn't feeling well. They started me on steroids. Uh, started me on uh, immunotherapy and I got a, a, a blood transfusion as well too. Been slowly feeling a little bit better. This was uh, a basically what they call bridging to uh, kind of tie me over until I could get the uh, CAR T cell. Last week uh, I got uh, uh, in preparation for the CAR T cell I got uh, three days of lymphodepleting chemotherapy. Uh, this basically is to kind of wipe out the immune system, make room for the, uh, the, the, the CAR T cells that they're going to infuse here in a couple hours. Uh, so for three days, came down here, um, got uh, got chemotherapy, and uh, for the most part, did pretty well. No 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 major side effects from that. Uh, no nauseousness or anything like that. Maybe just, maybe a little bit of fatigue. Kind of hard to say. That was that if that was from the uh, chemotherapy or from the uh, disease process. Some of you may be wondering what I do with my time as I sit here um, waiting to see if any uh, side effects from the CAR T cell. Besides uh, laying around, watching TV, and eating, um, I did bring a lot of work with me. So I found uh, a few books uh, at home that I haven't read. Um, figured this would be a good time. Same thing for uh, a bunch of medical journals that I had intended to read, but since I wasn't feeling well, didn't get around to it do a lot of walking as well too. So I walk about three or four miles um, every day and uh, I, I don't do that all at one time. I, I do one mile at a time. A couple days ago I did have a fever uh, up to 101 something. I don't remember. Uh, it was at two o'clock in the morning. Came in and drew blood cultures as well as the the usual lab work and got a chest x-ray. They started me on some IV antibiotics. Uh, so far the cultures have all come back negative. Everything's been negative. Mm -hmm. 